Good morning, everyone, and welcome to River City Live. Now, today's show is focused on a few of my favorite things. Food for rants, but dogs are my totem animals. Actually, all animals, but dogs today. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hit you with some feel good. The Jacksonville Public Library has many activations to engage the community, especially for National Public Library Week. I just learned about their thera therapy dog program. Reading with a dog in a library, must see. Queen uh, was a puppy that I raised for an organization, a national organization that provides service dogs to adults and children um, and veterans with disabilities. And she went to the training, to professional training, after I volunteered to raise her until she was about uh, 18 months old. And uh, she went to professional training and she did not pass all the evaluations. She was not a good fit, so I had first right to adopt her back which I did, and she's a great pet, and she loves people, so she, I, I immediately knew that I wanted to get her certified as a therapy dog. While that wasn't where the story begins, I had to introduce the star of the conversation. Michelle Fleming breaks down what the therapy dog program is. We're here because uh, every other week at Southeast Regional and libraries across the city, we have therapy dogs, and the therapy dogs are here to have children read to them. We have Queen here, she'll be here today. Um, and the purpose for that reading is that you have an opportunity for kids who really might struggle with reading, reluctant readers who have that chance to sit with a dog, uh, they're easy listeners, they have a kind face, they don't judge them, and they're just relaxed to read to the dog, and they really enjoy that experience. She shares the benefits she has seen for the families that come in to meet the therapy dogs. Both aspects, so they could get comfortable with reading, uh, practice their social skills. Some of them are kind of anxious or nervous to around pets, so we've seen some that, you know, they start out kind of far away, and by the end they're petting, cuddling, wanting to. Um, some are also interested in the whole therapy dog process, so they might talk to the owner of the dog and they get questions answered for that. So there's a lot of different things that come out of this we've seen when we see families go in with kids from you know, infants and toddlers to up to 12, 13-year-olds. Chris Boyvin adds a bit more on that conversation. Kids who maybe don't have so much confidence, they can read to a dog, they can have fun, they can chill out, the dogs are just totally cool, and dogs don't judge, so it's a great way to um, get you know, a kid really familiar and really comfortable reading, build up their confidence, and kids just absolutely love it. Patrice agrees with the appeal of therapy dogs in the library. No judgment. When, a, when the kids come into a library setting, I don't think they expect to see a dog, right? And so just that kind of uh, sets a different tone. And I think Queen makes um, everything disappear. There's no worries. There's no pressure. They're not in a classroom setting. The teacher's not listening to them. It's a dog in a library, right? So it has a fun element and um, takes the focus off and, and takes any pressure off. Yeah. Michelle explains the process to spend time with a therapy dog at the library. So we have opportunities on our Jacksonville Public Library website under events. You can type in therapy dogs and you'll find the dogs that are all throughout the city at the branches closest to you. And uh, usually they can sign up there or drop in at the library when they have the dog. And we have a 10 minute window for each family to come in and, and enjoy their time with Queen or the dog. And one final thought about Queen. She loves people, loves people, and was bred to be a companion dog, so. I think that original training was off by a little bit. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. This is just one of the 130 activi activities going on for National Public Library Week. Oh, did I mention they feature my favorite, second favorite F word, free. Summer programs are about to get lit at the libraries. See what I did there? Find out more at jackspubliclibrary.org.